diseases. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, while I was in Lewiston Hospital doing my hospital ministry as chaplain, I used to visit many cancer patients. Patients of this sort are very hard to deal with because they have a lot of questions that I could not readily answer. Their questions were, why does God allow this to happen? Or in other words, why me? In that hospital, encountered a woman who shared with me that she never spoke, smoked all her life, but unfortunately, she was sick with lung cancer. She was a passive smoker, so to speak, the culprit her husband, who was a chain smoker. He smoked inside their house and their bedroom, and worse, the husband left her now that she had a cancer. Her pain was too much to bear. Her oft-repeated question was, why me? Likewise, I met a 12-year-old boy who had a cancer. His mother had a lot of questions that I could not answer. I simply listened to her and cried with her. I was present at the boy's dying moments. I was helpless to see grimace upon his face until he died. Everyone's question was, why him? So dear brothers and sisters, in our world today, we are confronted with misery and pain. In the television, the news channels, we could see some harrowing images or footages of children dying in famine. While this happening, our people are displaced because of eternal strife and war. We empathize for them. We ask, where is God in these situations? The problem of suffering has been on all the times, all the pro problem. Philosophers and theologians have never found a cogenant reason why people have to suffer or undergo such suffering. First, let us learn something from Job. In the first reading, we have heard Job crying out. So, I have been assigned months of misery and troubled nights have been allotted to me. Speaking of misery, in the Old Testament, Job can be considered as an exemplar through whom we can reflect on the themes of suffering and misery. Job, a religious man, was put to the test by God. 
he was stripped of all possessions and his family it is a life full of misery job does not find answer to the suffering that he experienced in fact there has been no ready and easy answer however job has shown to us that there is also meaning in suffering suffering is a part of god's mysterious plan for us god does not want us to suffer but he allows it perhaps for our own good second let us turn to the gospel in the gospel passage we heard of jesus curing of simon's mother in law like in the book of job jesus did not give us an explanation to the suffering of people but jesus demonstrated how important it is to be with the people who suffer being with the sick curing the sick and turning human suffering into joy these are the things that jesus demonstrated the recent visit of pope francis to philippians has also helped us what to do with those people who suffer mercy and compassion became the byword the pope visited one of the cities in philippines and in order to show compassion to them when he heard the stories of the survivors how they lost their family members he said nothing more he told cardinal tagel what can we say when we listen to a girl during the encounter with the youth at the youth convention at university of st thomas who asked why young children suffer the pope told her we don't have answer to the question but pope francis journeyed with the people who suffered like jesus he was with them and he communed with them and comforting them in their suffering not so much of explaining why these people suffer so my dear brothers and sisters perhaps in order for us to find the meaning of suffering we must put our own suffering in the context of the suffering of Christ Jesus experienced on the cross moments of suffering from a christian view point are opportunities for us to share the pains and sufferings of christ for some this may appear ridiculous the fact that the world teaches us comfort and easy living the theme on suffering can be out of date in some countries the easy response to suffering is suicide and mercy killing for them people should not suffer or suffering should be terminated instantly so my dear brothers and sisters we can find joy in suffering in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit